this project is going to merge this greenhouse design with this rocket mass heater design. This greenhouse design gives the author tomatoes in December with no added heat in North Idaho. This wood heat design heats a home with five times less wood and uses a thermal mass. Our thermal mass will be a greenhouse raised bed. Here's the workshop site along with the instructors, Ernie and Erica. South is this way, so this tree has to go. The garden bed's going to go here. The trench for walking in is going to go here. The far edge of the greenhouse roof will be about here. This workshop's going to focus on the rocket mass heater and leave the greenhouse for later. Here is a quick mock-up of a rocket mass heater core. The wood feed will be on the left and the combustion chamber will be on the right. Ernie takes a moment to demonstrate the sideways burn. Damn, that's going to burn up. It really doesn't like to go sideways. So, if I throw it in there, it pretty much just going to burn up. It's going to burn up. So if I take put a pipe here, put a piece of paper in there, and I go... <laughs> The harder that pipe gets, the better it burns sideways. Okay. Hmm. And you can see a you can see a little bit of smoke there in that newspaper. Fine ash. That's the stuff you'll be cleaning out, and it takes. Yep. <laughs> see? <laughs> yep, it's a uh, smoke. smoke, all right. Well, so, almost beauty. <laughs> so when we put the heat riser on there, the hotter this gets, also the better that burns in there. So that's starts burning up. When we insulate it, this will be, this li the liner of the heat riser will be super hot. And what it'll do is burn up all of the smoke. A little bit of residual smoke will burn up here on the top of the barrel. Mm -hmm. And then what you get out of this thing is steam and CO2. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So you get smoke it when you initially light it because it's still cold and Busting all the way. Right. In about eight minutes, you'll have steam and CO2 coming out. Okay, back to work. This trench is where the mass of soil will be. The far end is where the fire will be. Lay in an inch of sand and then two inches of uh, perlite clay mixture. Start laying in the bricks. The fire will be on these bricks. You can see the burn tunnel starting to take shape. The rocket mass heater core is now complete. Ernie works out a strategy to carry the exhaust from the barrel to the ducts in the thermal mass. Meanwhile, Cobb is being mixed to pack a seal around the combustion chamber. Cobb is clay, sand, and straw thoroughly mixed. You can now see the first bit of duct to go into the thermal mass. The bit of vertical duct is an ash cleanout. Here you can see cob being packed around the combustion chamber. And now we've fired it up. Now look at what's coming out now that we've got a whole fire going. Notice that it's not hanging out? Smell it. So Mike. How, how much? How, how warm does that feel right there? It feels warm. How warm? Um, 40 degrees. Okay, and Fahrenheit? 10 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it does smell like smoke? Well, right now it does. Right now it does. What's that going on right there? Steam. How do you know it's steam and not smoke? Condensing on the surface of the pipe. There's a little bit of smoke in this because we're just starting to just get this started and just heating it up. Not a lot. The barrel, how far is the top of the barrel from the 
top of the heat riser. On this one? On two this one. Two inches. So why two inches? hot enough to be able to put a tea kettle on top of it. And so the hottest part is right here. So if I take this, put it right there. Um, so the hotter, hottest part of it is right there where you can reach it. We designed one almost exactly like this in Coquille, built one like this in Coquille. And the top of the barrel was an inch and a half above the heat riser, whereas this one's two inches. Yep. So um, w why the difference? Speed. The one in, the, in Coquille is in office. So when you light up the stove, you want quick heat in there. And the person who's using the office wants to be able to make tea relatively quickly. So this one gives you a little bit more time. It gives you a little bit more time with your heat collection and, and you know, it puts a little bit more heat into the bed, perhaps? Puts a little bit more heat into the bed. And right now, um, we're almost at 450. So we're almost at book burner temperature. So 400, yeah, Fahrenheit 451. I get, okay, gotcha. Um, at that kind of temperature, uh, can you boil water on it? Yeah. Okay. And so what if you were to make it be three inches? Well, what would happen? It'll cool it down. You won't get that much heat in the center of it. And it has the effect of moving the heat for it. This right here. It's like right here. And down here. Where the hottest part of this barrel is. It diminishes quickly until it's down here. Um, it moves. because it's moving slower, it's not splashing as much, so it's not getting this mix in the top third of the barrel. So you can move it, you can move the heat torus down the barrel. To about halfway. So would that mean less instant heat? And more heat in the bed. That would mean less instant heat up in the top of this and more heat in the bed. Because your heat torus would be down here, which if you're putting this in a standard room and you're and you're standing at this level, it's going to put more heat at your waist level. Where this right now would put more heat at your chest level. Hmm. Taurus is focus of heat. Um, a torus is what happens when the when the, the gases from our combustion come up and slam into that flat surface, and because it's round, they slam in. Torus is a donut. Torus is a oh, donut. So okay. it's definitely hold in the middle. Mm -hmm. So we're almost up to 500. Great. You have to go and do your seedlings and have a cup of tea while you're doing your seedlings. It's perfect. That's it. We filled the trench with soil and went home. If you like this sort of thing, come by the forums at permies.com where we talk about alternative energy, alternative building, and permaculture all the time.